Yes. You're an onion. No, onions are a good thing. Do you know I I start to eat raw and they're nice, you know? That's why you stink. That's why, no, I couldn't put my finger on it. I was saying, this brother. And you know what it is? You love taki taki. Big wide mouth. You, you laugh with your mouth wide open. It's pure onion you're eating. I was thinking, now what do this brother here, man? Why do, I, why, why do we do this podcast? Exactly. No, why? I don't know why. I'm just sitting there thinking, why are we doing this? For you to abuse me every week. Check, check. We're back in the building. Another episode. Elephant You're rushing. No, no. Calm the fuck down. We're back in the building. Another episode. Elephant in the room. Your boy C6. Mr. Dizzle. C6 is late. Yeah, so he's fucking why trying to trying? rush. Why, why are you not talking to things? Because you're, 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 cause I know it's, don't do not do that to my people, them. They're paying customers. The YouTubers, you could do fuckers no, too. No, no, but you see the patrons, you, you come correct. You know what, just to say something. I just baited before I come in. We just, I just baited and put an aftershave. Someone said, why are you putting an aftershave in the podcast? Because I want to smell nice for my people, them. I want to look good. I want to smell nice. I want to be fresh. You never bathed before you come in. Definitely you not. never, never. Why would I bathe to come into this dirty yard? That is so <laughs> See, I'd be disrespectful to my, to my soap. <laughs> <laughs> when I leave here, I have a dental bath with minimum water. <laughs> no, I'm not even running them. I will mash up your face. <laughs> Don't do that. You say, you say I'll smash your house. I'll, I'll smash up your house. <laughs> you piece of shit. Uh, listen, we got listen. A YouTuber, we got to big up the YouTube, the YouTube family. We have to. Because they've been with us from day, they've been riding with us from but day. But they, they don't do fuck all. If it wasn't for the YouTubers, we would be still re- filming off your phone with <laughs> worrying stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> out of pocket. No, I hear Some that. weeks will be like, oh, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, what we doing? You know what I'm saying? What we're doing? What we doing? <laughs> we will, it would be but that. Big up, no, we've got to big up everyone. So we big up the YouTubers. You, yeah, you, the you do listeners. that. You big up everyone. Okay, I love the audio listeners. No, I love, I love the, the audio listeners. Yeah. The audio listeners, if you're listening, big up yourself right now. If you're in your car, in, your, in, 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 in the Spotify crew, Apple crew, all the other crews, you know them way that if you're listening on Spotify, big up to you because I listen to Spotify. So big up to you. And see the patrons, as I said, big up to you. We, we love the patrons. And I saw, I saw, YouTube I saw well, that's well. somebody, I saw somebody <laughs> and they was talking about the podcast. And I said, no, I'm going to do something. I said, they said, they, they really watch the podcast. I said, I'm going to do something. They said, no. You don't be probably listening to that <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, they, they proper listen then. They proper, they proper listen. listen. They said, listen, don't start. Don't, we know you don't, don't, don't promise don't, us shit. Don't promise nothing. They're yeah. Promising. That's fucked up though to be it's mad labeled because, like that. Because you know what, yeah? Oh, what a lovely dinner we had. Isn't it? What a lovely dinner we had with our winners. It's amazing at that beautiful restaurant that we've never been to. And who's fought Stack C6? Nothing to do with me. It's not. It's not. Nothing to do it, with it, me. It's I'm, not taking, I'm not taking. I'm not taking that. Hundred and ten percent. I'm not taking that. No. On a serious note. All right. Bullahi, I'm not taking that. All right. Cool. You know why? Right. Because that was you're the admin. You're the guy supposed to sort that out. You speak up the names and you just fucked it over. You don't want to do nothing for nobody. You don't even. Do, you don't even go dinner for yourself, much less. Why would you be, want to go anywhere with anybody? Anyway. That's not your forte. Anyway, that's very. There you go. Anyway, Thank you. On, I'm not going to allow you to railroad this thing. Yeah, and, there you and go. Do that. Th- yeah, because you know you fucked up. Because you know I'm talking the, the truth. Are you doing you, here? And see, yeah. see, I, let me tell you about C six. See, if C six wasn't a DJ, the man would be like homely girl. It used to be so homely. You be you be home. I wouldn't get nowhere. You be home. If I didn't, if I was work a, yeah. home, yeah. work home. Yeah. You're not in a because you're antisocial as it is. You're I, fully I, anti. I no. beg your pardon. I'm I'm outside. Because you're because you're getting paid. <laughs> Anyhow, you're not people. Let me tell you this. If you see Caesar outside, he's not there to party. You're not gonna see him at the bar buying drinks and playing. No. He's there to fucking work, and when his work's finished, he's not even like the rest of the DJ is gonna sign around. He's gone, finished, buy at home. He's gonna, it's a job to him. He's coming at, what's, he said, What's my set time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's coming 10 minutes before his set time and leaving five minutes after his set time. Five minutes in packing up his shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I, you are yeah. anti social. I mingle, and I, I do. You have to catch you on the off chance. Yeah, sometimes I mingle. Some more times, there's a few times you catch me just. And that's I'm a, in a few. Vibe. And that, that's like, but then that, that, out of a million, you, that's four times. But you're an everyday man. You're just a regular, regular. You're no, just, I'm a, you're, <laughs> there's nothing special about you. You're just a henker, henker. Any dance you go to, you're there. Bookie you're shop. The first, yeah, <laughs> bookie <laughs> shop, barbers. Yeah, no trim in the barbers all day. He's the first in the dance, the last out of the dance. He's saying to the, he's helping them. You want me to carry that to the car? He's, what are you doing? Learn to be exclusive. Learn to step out sometimes. Man, just henker, henker. 
Everywhere you go, you just see him hang out. Chat, chit. He's done. <laughs> when he does his comedy shows and his show done, <laughs> right at the end, after everyone's left, the janitor is saying to him, hey, come on, mate, let's get out of here. Last, you're always the last to leave. They do that, but not because of that reason. Because <laughs> I'm fucking about. Yeah, well, be you're a dickhead. Really yeah, yeah, you're Mr. Henka. Yeah, me, Mr. I I'm like Mr. butter. Yeah, yeah, you're Henka butter. Yeah, me gone, me gone, but you Henka. <laughs> But yeah, all good, man. All good. Big up everyone on. You feel proud of yourself for saying that, man. You feel proud of yourself for saying that. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Little, little one. Pop, pow. Little pie pie. One. What do they call it? One pop. Mm. I see you're bridging with beer models every day. Can't tell. Him leave the girl already. He's, uh, he's not gonna last. Because I, I heard the thing is I don't really keep up with the cartel thing. Like, I'm not really like the, the so his social media. I'm not following on that. But I did hear that he was on a live with his girl. And some women were flirting with him or whatever, and he was flirting back or whatever. And then she started cussing, but the sh- they left the live one. And she's in the back cussing. I can't see it lasting because she was a fan. That st- he said she mm. stalked my line, then she stalked my baby mother's line, and that's how she got to him. That's what he said. So she now knows anybody that is onto him. She thinks that they're gonna do exactly what he she done to get him, so she's not having it. She's gonna block everything. But he, cartel, come on, man, they get gal everywhere me go. Cause I say something to you, they get gal everywhere me go. He's cartel and like the breeder gal them that was, you catch. Do you it? remember teacher's pet? Yeah, oh, there you go, brother. Cause I say something to you, look at <laughs> old me. You understand? Get some good things, but cartel. It's mad, you know. I'm telling it's you, it's mad because status is a thing. We can't. It's, remember the, the it, hottest girl go for some. Remember, two status. packs of it the other day, and I and I, and I said and I proved it to my friend. You could go to the even like like yourself. You, you go to yourself. Go to a plant uh, like a, a raver's Colin. No one, no. You understand? Who? Colin. Who's no, that? Some yeah. dickhead. You understand? Like who's Colin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Colin, yeah, like, like that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello. But. Go a C6. Yeah, yeah, different thing. Different thing. Yeah, that's like somebody. You know, and I remember you got a spread nose, and I've I've seen your caliber because of your name. It's not because of your looks. You think? Hundred and ten percent. Wallahi, I put my neck. Of your looks? Yeah, that's yeah. not me. You, I'm not one a shadow of a doubt thinking they like me because I'm. No, I'm handsome. Right, right, that's that, that's the key but thing. I like I'm the fact fully that handsome. Rappers, and what I really respect is that you that you know that my caliber's up, and I didn't know your caliber was up. And, but yeah, <laughs> I, I'm gonna respect your thing now because I, for real, for real, I've seen, I've seen, I did see a few people that you've been hankering hanker, around, and I said, yeah, well, you know what? Even with the name, even with the with the comedy, you still can't pull a nothing. But but recently, that was a good one. Recently, recently, I'm gonna give you some respect. No, I'm, and to, to be to be fair, not dissing nobody. I was the man, I was a person, I like like sexy body and personality. I wasn't really going for the facials. Like you was going for the shape, the face with bad shape. I wasn't doing that. So my thing is I wanted like the good shape. <laughs> the no, thing? wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 what's the one? Wait, what's the one? So you're saying that, you're saying, that, you're saying they got bad shape? Your, your girl's got bad shape, long breast, like slippers breast. I'm talking about tucking your belt. Then you know that song, girl talking your belly. No, yours one's talking your breast. Them, you understand what I'm saying? You know, that's the kind of girls you did. Yeah, pocket, she can feel her. Yeah, you get me. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> them time I'm in the man's are thinking that I'm in the girl's pocket. Them time I'm feeling up nipples, blood. <laughs> I'm searching for that nipple coin. Yeah. yeah, but but now I said to myself, you know what? I did my time. Hmm. No one can't say like you know the way that the fluffies, the, the thing. I've been there. So no one can't see when they see me now with my with my hot things thinking like, oh, well, get me. I've switched. Yeah. yeah, I have switched, but I did my bid. Yeah, yeah. You catch so what I'm dealing with? Represented. I represented for all, all nations. I've done my time. I've done my time, bro. Now. Yes, I've yeah. done. I didn't, up, up I, didn't, I, I didn't even get parole. Yeah. <laughs> I've done the whole time. No tag, nothing. So you say you used to, <laughs> so that, like, you're, cause you used to be the fluffy governor. We say that done. No, that don't done because the fluffy them, they're still, but you got, I like are the you, fluffy is, them with shape now. Are you a fluffy at winter? Like, could you yeah, do my winter, in summer? Yeah, no, summer. Uh, oh, why would you do that? Just would you wear a fucking um, a puffer jacket? <laughs> would you wear a can of the goose in, <laughs> in summer? <laughs> Nigga? <laughs> would you? Would you wear, would you wear a can of the goose no, in summer? No, no you no, don't do I don't, that. I don't, no one wears can of the goose in summer. Nobody does that. 
Nobody does so that. So that's what they're equivalent to. Four can of gazoos <laughs> in the summer. Yeah, that's what they are. You get all right, me? All right. That's now the, the fluffy thing, and she was she st- was stationary. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I, I'm not going to forget. It was a Saturday. She was stationary and sweating. I had just been in a hot room. You can be stationary and sweat, you know. Buckets. If you're in a hot room. Buckets. Uh, but I was sweating. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. how hot was the room? You might have, you might have, so there might be something wrong with your pores. <laughs> I'm just saying. You you look at, like, if you're the barometer, she, the, she could be right and you could be wrong because you're kind of fucked up. No, I, I can't sleep in heat. I, I can't, I don't like when it's hot. So if it's, if it's hot, I can't sleep. Okay. So if it's not that hot, I'm talking about summer. She was sweating buckets and you weren't sweating. All right, all right, let me just be honest. It was it was winter time. And she was just hot. Hot. And it was kind of cold anyway. Yeah. Okay. And you're sweating. I hear, it. I hear that. That's nuts to me. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. And then this. And but some people are just sweaters. Not really. I not really. I don't really want to be with a sweater. But there's some <laughs> people are just sweaters. No, there's some people are sweaters, man. Yeah. You know, like there's some. Have you ever seen someone in the gym and they're Sweating and you, brother, you're not even doing too much. Yeah, What's yeah, this? yeah, for real, yeah. Treadmill walking, like, whoo, like yeah, 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 it's true. <laughs> sweaters, yeah, for real. Sweaters, man. But yeah, a, sweat, a sweaty gal ain't for me, bro. Sweet. Not for me. I'm not really, I don't know if I could do that. And you know, the sweaty gal, and you know, the other thing, sweaty gal don't even know that they're sweaty, you know that because they want to hug you still. Yeah, they touch their back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. I can't do that. I don't, I don't like sweat. And, and no, it's scornful to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me, and but they like they because I think because they like it because you know when a man sweats they love it they, they it's like this yeah, but they it, love it. It depends what what kind of sweat. If you got if you if you if you and you're walking and you're yeah sweating, that's a different type of it's yeah a different type of sweat yeah yeah or you're working out and you're sweating yeah they, it's a different type. yeah but, but to lie him just, down yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> that's some mad that is that is that's some but is they sweating watching yeah, these yeah that's Sea World yeah we're at Sea World I'm also go Sea World. Mad. Yeah, that is mad, isn't it? It's bad, and that's and that's what it is. Laughing and it's sweating because you're laughing. Like, you get what I'm dealing with. Yeah, and it goes back to what, the, what we were saying, like um, glorifying obesity or something. Like you can't even say nothing. It's they call it body, body positive, but it's not body positive if you're gonna fucking if you're gonna be dying within the next three years. Do you know what I mean? In, and in saying that, rest in peace, fat man scoop man. Oh, how much scoops do you have? No, bro, he just died, bro. We're not doing that. What are we doing here, bro? What we're doing here, t-shirts. <laughs> Get yourself with what what we're doing here, t-shirts. Um, <laughs> I'll go, they'll be out next week. Next week we'll be wearing what we're doing here, t-shirts. Don't yeah. say that. Don't say that. Hundred percent. We'll be wearing them. I'm not gonna, like. And if, if I'm not, I, you're saying that, so next episode, next, next episode, pussy clock episode, episode, episode we'll have we're gonna. W- yeah. Me and you are gonna. Have, my, don't don't, even even, don't me. me. But we're gonna have what we're doing here, t-shirts. And if we don't, then what? You're you're the one that's. We're shit. gonna have it in the front that we use for the the shorts. And and so so that you're gonna be the pussy old if we don't have it. We're gonna have them. All right, what are we doing here? Yeah. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Oh, yeah, rest in peace, Fat Man Scoop, man. Like one hit has made him money for a long time. So bro. you're a pussy old. See that? What? See now? See <laughs> what are we doing there? What? What are we doing? Why? Why are we doing this? Because he was just because you're, you're a pussy old. Why? You, I rubbed him out. And then you cuss me, and then you go and rub him out again. <laughs> this one hit, one the shit you did. But he was a DJ, him. and and so him having look at that the face, hit. don't do that face because that, that face <laughs> we know we know you that. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, you did. It, you it did. You across, did. It come across bad. I didn't mean it like that. You did. Right, you did. Let's start again. No, we're not starting again. Peace, we're not, the both of us are fucked up. All right, cool. We're just gonna do this. We're just fucked up, man. Scoop. We're gonna move on. Yeah, cause we're both fucked up. At least the people you're not every day. Every week, shall I say, the people you're getting. Uh, people uncovering, are I'm uncovering one lick, piece by piece. Yes, like pussy a, face. Like an onion. Yes, you're an onion. No, onions are a good thing. Do you know I I started to eat raw and they're nice, you know. That's why you stink. That's why, no, I couldn't put my finger on it. I was saying this brother, and you know what it is. You love taki taki, big wide mouth. You, you laugh with your mouth wide open. It's pure onion you eat. And I was thinking, now what do this brother yeah, man? Why do I? Why, why do we do this podcast? Exactly. No, why? I don't know why. I'm just sitting there thinking, why are we doing this? For you to abuse me every week. Brother, I say, no, I was wondering, seriously. Like, you're an idiot. The, the smell like, smell like don't do that. Onion. You know what? Saying, don't, what? See, at least I don't get mad like you, but don't do that because you know you're not going to take that because you don't want people to think, wow, I wonder if C6 really stinks. Do you understand? All right, I'm just joking, people. Fuck sake, C6, man. Just don't joking. do that. You know what, yeah? Because then, then people message, well, you stink at onion. And then I was telling about their mumma. You see that? You see that? Um, when I say I'm going to smash up your house here? Yeah. I've watched that a few times, yeah. Yeah. I meant it at first, you know. I know. I actually meant it. 
That's why it was for funny. It, that's what me and my sister were talking about. You actually, because. I meant it. You got ADHD. That's kind of crazy. That's why you was busting up. Because I realized that you was chatting shit. You meant it. And you said, no, yeah. No, I meant it, bro. Yeah. Because I, I felt insulted. I would smash your house <laughs> in. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then I realized. Yeah, that's a bit that's a bit OTT. So I apologize, my friend. I apologize. No, you need to look. It's not it's, the thing about it. I don't want the apology. So, so what do you? Want I want you to seek fucking help. That's what. I, that's all I'm asking. Seek help. It's there. One one nine. Say, listen. I get these crazy urges. Yes. Yeah. You got ADHD. You got bipolar. You fucking got syphilis. You got all these things. You got all these things you, you know, don't want. I, I'm, I think I'm just anti-idiot. And when you do idiot You things, fucking idiot. I like the way you came back with that so calmly. Move it anyway. Let's do this fucking dilemma because you're pissing me off. You come late. Wife had to come late. You, you arrive late. <laughs> you, 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 you're two days late, should I be fair. You do what you want to do. You, you, you just... And I, I know I've changed so much... It's unbelievable. Because I'm taking your bullshit. No, you, bro, brother. I am actually taking I'm your bullshit. I'm going to explain something to you. No, seriously. Let, let, don't let, you no, say no, that, no, though. No, no, no. We'd have not yeah, argued. No, You've done things. Yeah, but let's keep it no, real. wait. You've done things that we should fucking argue, even be pissed off a couple of days. None of that. You know what you've done? Because you're a pom pom. And I just. And, and, and I'm, you've done. You're a manipulator. And you're trying to manipulate me. And I'm not going to take it. See, that's, right? a, that's a yeah, thing. No, I'm not, this, I'm not gonna and, take this. And you're fully gaslight. No, gaslight. No, because listen, See you, listen. You what went you for British was, gas. What you did was when oh, we whatever. spoke about you this podcast. You should went for British gas. What we did when we did this podcast, you I said, you know what? I've got a perfect location, and you picked the location, and the location is your yard. You, and when I pull up to your yard, you're not even ready, but you're in your yard. If we were meeting up at a studio. I promise you'll be late more than me. Can I say something? I promise you? you'll be late more than me. Can I say something? When I, to you? when I pulled up today, were you ready to go or did you have to take off the, the massage sheet um and, and get ready? I don't want to flop you. You're gonna flop you right now. On everything you love, be honest. When you come, was the whole um thing set up on everything you love? Yes or no? 90%. <laughs> you got to I set up this thing. <laughs> there you go. See you fucked up. <laughs> Thank you. Better. See? Thank, see my people. Today. No, stop. Just today. No, it's all the You see, out. Make up your mind, Pony Nani. Pony Nani. <laughs> Pony Nani. Yeah. Hey, make up you know what that just reminded me of? What? Just that accent. I know it's proper racist what I just done. Because yeah. that, that accent reminded me of this. I watched this. I've been watching this thing on YouTube, yeah? yeah. Called Scam Sandwich, yeah? Yeah. And Kit Boga. And basically, what they do, <coughs> they. You see the scammers, them that phone you up, the Jamaican scammers and yeah. the Indian scammers or whatever. Yeah. They string them along and hack into their computers, but blood, it is funny. It is funny, funny, funny. Because the the scammers, they think that they they're fooling people. They're fooling like these. They now I've watched the program. I watched people are like eight years old. Yeah, yeah I watched scam busters and I watched. And I watched yeah, I watched it's them. hilarious. Yeah, the man phoned the woman and said that he's Joe Biden. The, the, yeah, because but the, the proper deepest Indian accent. Yes, this is Joe Biden, and then. The, the, the lady, like the man's pretending to be a lady, like 80. And like, oh, hello, um, president. What I needed to do is go to the, the shop and get Apple gift cards and send them to me. Yeah. And then they do the Apple gift cards. And then instead of sending them, they keep redeeming them. So the scammers are getting mad. Why are you redeeming? Why are you redeeming? But this is supposed to be Joe, Joe Biden. Blood, it is hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious. Scam sandwich. Kit Bulger, like I'm when's that on YouTube? It's on YouTube. Send me the send me the link. Brother, it's funny. Send I've been the watching link. them. Send me the it's link. Hilarious. Send and the, the Yardi scammers are mad. Huh? The scam is dumb. I know. The, if you fall for the scam, you deserve to be scammed. Yeah. You won the lottery, but to claim your prize, the lottery you never entered. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> never entered anything. You've won sixteen million. Yeah. But to get sixteen million, you got to send me twenty thousand. You send me twenty thousand. And then I'll send you 16 million. But you didn't even enter this competition. Uh, and you know about this, the saddest thing is, sometimes it works. What, the scam? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's not sometimes. They're, they're, they're with, brother. But I don't know how. But I think, it, I think if you fall for that scam, you deserve a bit of it. To because be fair. you're an idiot. Yeah. You're an idiot. I got a call the other day, someone telling me that I got 4.9 Bitcoin and I need to claim it. And I was thinking, I should string them along, like because I've been watching this show. Yeah, I should string them along, but then, but because I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. 
Yeah. They might hack into my phone, so I had to put that on the phone. Because <laughs> <laughs> sure. I, I, was, I wanted to get involved in it and string them along, but yeah, I could end up getting myself, like, they siphon things out my phone or whatever, so I just tapped out. But yeah. You're a little shook one, isn't it? Brother, you, you know what? Yeah, I don't think I can handle a scam. I don't think I could handle this. I don't think one day I log onto my online bank and everything's zero because I done something with my phone. I I don't know what to do. What would you do? That mm. there is not the same as walking into somewhere and man trying to move to you. Mm. That's a robbery you don't even know about. You yeah. click the fucking QR thing and give them your everything. Dickhead. Because that's what they, brother. These the scam. That's why right now I wouldn't. I don't want to do nothing with my phone. I know, but the, 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 but that's why. Um, who highlighted it as well was that film Beekeeper. Have you seen Beekeeper? Mm-hmm. You need to watch that film, man. Uh, do you do you watch films? Do you, really. you don't. What do you do? You don't watch films. You don't drink. You don't smoke. You don't have sex. No. The, the, from the, from you like you're picking them. You like your balls them dry up. Beer, blood clot, powder, powder balls. What do you do for for fun? Oh, just rely on your book. No, you have fun because you're going fucking all over the world. I take that back. Anyway, let's move on. I'm sick of your insults. I just gave you flowers. Brother. It was dead ones, but they're fucking I flowers. They were dead ones. <laughs> give me flower. dead ones. Man, give me plain flour. And tell anyway. Me make some boiled dumplings with C6 you. and Dizzle. Hi, I am frustrated with my partner as we cannot agree on whether to circumcise our three-year-old. My partner wants him to get it done now. I say wait until he's older. Let him make his decision. I'm not going to agree with it causing a rift in our relationship. In our relationship, what do you think we should do, guys, about this circumcision? Well, three years old. I think isn't that too late? Pardon? Isn't it too late? Shouldn't it be done ASAP? Mm? Shouldn't it be done quick? I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, let me tell you something. Is your kid circumcised? No, sir. Are you circumcised? No, sir. That's my point. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna be honest here. I should. I don't like chatting my business, but I've been through this, innit? Because wanting my son to get and I don't want that I'm like well I'm not firstly and then even from a religious standpoint now I don't want to get into a religious argument but I'm not religious I don't want to get into a religious argument but God nah make no mistake so why you must cut off this and to be on fair the, on the reproductive organ that's mad to me if he, so he made a say something to you, on the reproductive and that's my organ. thing and that's my thing my thing is people don't want to realise and go into deep history and things about mm. ever I, then if you want to know about circumcision i come to me then say yes i want to get circumcision because this was the basis of very not because of a man-made religion to to mark and to to say like, these are our people them it was a for that not because god wanted to will in it it's stupidness it don't make sense it doesn't make sense god, as, I, as you just said god our body when our body was made perfect we cut and we heal ourselves. Our body is woman. That little sperm in there could make life. Our bo- God never made no mistake. Man made mistakes with these outdoor diseases that doesn't correspond with our body. There is food right now out there that w- that even doctor said that the, the government won't make us know that could heal even cancer. Do you know what I'm saying? The God made us f- the perfect way, and He gave us the perfect nutri- nutrients to f- to fulfill our bodies and make us work perfectly. Do you know what I'm saying? Men come along now with these pharmaceutical companies and realize well, so if people get sick there's money in it you know yeah. there's money in sickness there's money in death there's money in war there's money in destruction more than money in goodness of course, of course. you get what i'm dealing with it's a business so prison is a business 100 yeah, yeah. everything police is a business everything yeah. that church is a fucking business yeah. you catch what i'm dealing with it's not so don't come to me with that yeah, shit. But you know what it is i think you like people believe what they believe in it but for me sense that it, if Common sense doesn't reproductive organs, yeah. If you couldn't make a mistake on your reproductive organ, that 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 if he made a mistake, because you know, like earlobes, we can pierce them because there's no nerves in it or whatever. That's just cool. down to us. That's just down to us. But it doesn't mean that it's a mistake. Remember, the only it thing- doesn't mean that it's a mistake. But the foreskin, why, why, in the name of a religion, must I cut it off? And you know, what's it gonna do? And you're not, you're not even that religion. They talk about hygiene, yeah? Now, this it's is what I always that. say. This is what I always say. Maybe, maybe 3,000 years ago, maybe man never washed them wood and things would... Maybe. No, I'm just saying. So maybe 3,000 years ago, that happened. But in today's era, man shower three times a day. 
can have four skin liquor more. I shower three times a day. That's so with, it. with it or without it, I can't get cleaner than I am. Cause remember, if it was something, they would say at the hospital. Remember, the only thing they cut at the hospital was what? The umbilical cord. Yeah, the That's thing. the only fucking thing they cut. They don't even need to cut that, you know. Huh? They cut it because the placenta is worth so much money. They sell it. There's, some, there's a good couple grand, you know. So, yeah. Blood, the, pl- the placenta, if you ask for your placenta, like when you have to take it home, they're worth like big money, you know, like a, a good amount of thousands. Swear down. This is something that I know. Bro, you see the placenta? In my life. That placenta, you could eat that. Yeah, yeah, you could eat it. It's, it's like that there was the, that's given, that's, that's, that kept your baby. That formed your baby. Do you get what I'm saying? Filtered, done all the sorts of stuff and fed your baby. That there is, it's, a, it's, it's, it's gold dust. It's worth, they sell them. Can I say something to you? So my thing is, didn't you see what God did there? God gave you the belly and the nutrients. To, we didn't have to go S and go by S and M and all them fuck with there. Everything is naturally there from the breast milk to the placenta. Yeah, you could so, straight away after after you could after you give birth. Technically, yeah, not me. Yeah, not, not, not a person, a human. Yeah, because you said that after you give birth, yeah, I looked in my eye. Because of your estrogen level, sometimes I get confused. Okay, I get it. But after a woman gives birth, technically they could eat the placenta, and then there's the milk for the baby, and everybody like the whole family could. You could drink that milk. Yeah. I don't know how we shame people for drinking breast milk because when they not, want you to drink from a cow. Because I say something to you. Because there's no money in that's fucking cow, breast milk. That's cow's pieces. breast Back milk. Back to what we were saying. No, but it would be money if we normalised it. Because then you just have a bag no, of... No, no, some, some girl now... Can I say something? You know, um, them tin milk and them yeah, apple, apple milk or whatever they're called. You know, Who? I don't, you know the, it's apt milk. Apt apt milk. Okay, yeah, you yeah, yeah, I'm dealing yeah, with yeah, yeah. They're, they're million, billion pound companies. Yeah, but do you, they, could still, they, they, no. they could make million, billion pounds worth of woman breast milk. How? Know? Listen, think about it. If there was a business, yeah, that no, like breast milk was sold, you see when the, you see how they hook up the cows? There'll be women no, no, just going there. No, that's, their day job will be going and their breast will just get sucked on. Can I say something to you? There's not enough cows and women. So that's why sometimes they have to... As you say, saying, there's too much people in the world right now. There's not enough women right now going to be... So you don't and, need to drink and, milk and, after and a certain age anyway. Nothing with them. Don't, see, nothing with them want to do with breast milk because they want their breast we milk. We don't like. need to drink milk after a certain age. But I know this. But my thing is, forget that. We're going to another realm. I'm going so wait, back. hold on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This, some, I just want to understand. If if a ten year old was feeding on their mum, they would shame the mum. They would say she's crazy. They yeah. want to call social services, saying she's abusing her son. Yeah. But if you give your ten year old. The breast milk from a cow is fine. Just think about it. I'm not thinking about it because I know the world's fucked. So you, you're, you're just like you're just realizing that no, what's going no, on. I know this. I'm you're just like you're just realizing. Emphasizing. Okay. I'm just emphasizing. Okay. So back to the foreskin argument. I say keep it. Just do. Just be normal. Just be. If the if the dad has if the dad. What, it was the, if the dad is circumcised and and that's his and and his whole bloodline is yeah then work but you should have done it earlier because but can I, I say something to you let me t- let me t- let me tell you this if if it's my sister and she's even saying to me all right boom rolls reverse she come uh, her baby father wants him to um, circumcised she don't believe in that and he's coming with his because it's his bloodline then I say then that's bullshit because you, you can't chat to you. You can't. You think my. You think I my. Won't say woman, you I won't say nothing. You think was, my woman's sister. Wait, stop. can't tell me anything. Wait, I'm my picnic. No, wait, Nobody can't tell right, me. Wait, wait, other wait. Than the mum. Oh, hold on. I'm sister. not gonna say. I'm not gonna say my nothing. Sister. I'm saying I'd advice. I will give her, you piece of shit. You can't come. And you're not even the none. good piece of shit. You're, you're mad. the. You're the, the last. Brother. You're the brother gonna You're that piece of shit that don't want to come out the batty, and you have to wipe, wipe, wipe. You're that stubborn shit. You're, You're the kind shit. of brother that watches your sister have sex. Just an advisor. What are we doing here? Why are you talking about your sister's What are we doing here? Because like, you can't have... You got let no me be the bigger person and, cut and take it to another world level. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. Because I, I see where your brain's going. You, you, have, you know you can't fuck got, with me. Because yeah, my brain's not well. So don't do that. you got no chat for don't do your that. sister's baby yeah, and her dad. <laughs> the dad... They have to have a proper conversation if it truly means something to the dad's line. I don't give a fuck. I would tell him, I would advise my sister to say, tell him to fuck off. That's what I advise her to do. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna say to him. I advise her because that's bullshit. Does he that he's because his fucking bloodline was full and lost in slavery and they still wanna bring it remind themselves because that's what they do to the black slaves. If you don't know, get to fucking know and mark them as as us with their religion thing. And now you just as us black people, we still can't take it on like the word nigger, like it's supposed to be glorified. Oh, let's let's take 
circumstances what our slave masters used to do to us because it's and and make it down the bloodline so these kids know back in the days this is what we done as as a slave you don't know fuck your Chris. belief is your belief and if it's and your, your, and your belief is a nuts belief it's your son it's your belief so don't bring your belief onto but, onto people but you bring it to your son it's not it's you, a, but your son follows your belief your but son does your belief but it doesn't mean it's you right raise to, your son but my, did you get my point it doesn't mean my my belief could be my son. Do you raise your son by your beliefs? Can I say your, something to you? Some, do I, you raise your son with your beliefs and your values? Yes me, or no? Let me do tell you. Do you raise your son with your beliefs and your values? Yes no, or no? I make him have his own beliefs and values. Why? <laughs> okay. All right, cool. That's it. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, like, do you make your you move on, fucking move on then. pansy? Of course you do. I don't. Your my, son is just like you. Your son is just don't like try, you. Like, follows your You're a gaslight and manipulative your son piece of shit. Because because I'm not agreeing with you. You wanna you, you, you wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna, you wanna what you call it um embody your empowerment onto me. It doesn't work so. In my, in my who? <laughs> empowerment. <laughs> no, bro. I'm just saying. Any this conversation is about the mom, the mum wants something and the dad wants something. And in in this, ultimately, ultimately. They have to have a conversation, and whose beliefs and who has a stronger Fuck the beliefs. No, you have to have a. You know what is? You know what is? Because you, know it, you know what is? Because this conversation, this thing has come up to with me for, um, for some time. If you know what I'm saying, not not my personal thing. It's never happened to me, but I've heard it, and it's like because I know the history of it. So every time I hear it, it upsets me. I understand that, but what I'm saying is, if someone is not you. Mm-hmm. You cannot tell them how to raise their children. I wouldn't tell them. No, exactly. So I'm saying the dad and the mum have to sit down and really have a conversation. They have to weigh up the pros and cons. And only when you when you come to the conclusion of what you should do based on the person with the best pros and cons. Do you get what I'm saying? And you're and if you have a genuine belief that this is better for my son. And it was best for me, and it was best for my father, and best for his father, and that's your genuine belief, genuine belief. Then there's no problem with you doing that to your son. So, so, but so. I do respect the woman saying let, allow her son to make that decision, but it's a, it is not the best procedure for an adult to do. Yeah, but I, but I, and the, and the and the and the thing what I'm saying is yes, let them let the child grow up, and if he wants to make the decision, because you can get it in your adult days. So yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get what I mean? But you still, but we all, our, our job. So what? Parents, what would you? What, our would, job as parents is we raise our children based on our standards and with our morals, and then when they're older, they change. So how would you feel if she went behind your back and did it to your son? I would be very upset because anything to do with my children, we, we have to consent. We have to have conversation. There will be things that I don't want, but I would agree to because we've had a conversation. You get what I'm saying? There are things that I would not want to for for them to see, for them to do, places for them to or people them to be around, and it's gonna happen because this is just life, and we've got to accept mm-hmm. it. But I don't want it to. I don't want to be blindsided by anything. I want to be aware that it's happening, and even though I don't like it, I'm still aware. You get what I'm saying? And sometimes you're gonna lose an argument. You get what I'm saying? Someone's needs and wants are gonna be stronger than yours. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And then you just have to. You have to just say, okay, cool. You take this one, and it is what it is, you know. But these are lifelong things, and I personally, and I'm not digging anybody's religion, so please don't get offended. But I don't get it. It don't make sense to me. You get what I'm saying? It don't make sense. That's to a me. proper what are we doing here? Type yeah, of thing. it don't make sense. That to is. Me. You understand? So yeah. What? So what? What advice should you tell her to give the woman? Just make them. Just have the conversation. You have to have a proper sit down conversation. It's not just about this. Is what I want. This. Is what I want. Mm-hmm. Pros and cons, weigh it up, give each other time and respect to have a com. You know what I'm saying? Just and then you get a, you get to the right decision. And someone's got to concede at some stage. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not like you can't agree to disagree and just chop off half. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> you, you got you got to make the decision. But I think three might be. I think they left it too late. That could have should have been a conversation from beforehand. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's some things that you need to have conversations when. When you when the bun is in the oven, mate. This is this is what I want. This is where we should do. This is the plans. You know what I mean? So yeah. All right, boom. Let's move on. Next one. Oh yeah. Big up. Them. Big up them still. I was waiting to see which one I haven't done already. I need to. I need to delete some of them. I, I got loads on the phone, but I left the phone at home in it. You know the um. You're gonna do that. You're gonna say that. Room. See, you don't you don't take this thing serious no more, and I don't like it. 
Because I'm. Huh? Because you're what? How do you just stop, sir? Read this one, man, because we've got oh. one more to go. You're pissing me off. He's like, you're not taking this serious. And I'm taking my people them serious, bro. I'm taking my serious my people them serious, bro. So I just suggest you do as well. What are you taking? Say it again. I'm taking my people them serious, bro. So, so I suggest how, you too. Like serious, serious. Like proper serious. Fucking. How serious? Fucking. On a one, scale of one to ten, how serious? Fucking Puerto Rican looking twat. <laughs> <laughs> Fully Puerto Rican, man. <laughs> you look Puerto Rican. But Puerto Rican. Where would brother. you say you look like? Not Puerto Rican. No, no, of course you're not Puerto Rican. I might look Puerto Rican. I got you a do. Did you see the picture of when I was young? Remember that time? We was in chocolate cheese and I put it up. I you look Brazi- no, it was Brazilian. Yeah, but your hair, do you know C Six has got blonde hair when he was young? When I was a baby, proper yeah. locks, blonde locks. You were mixed up because you don't. Even, you wouldn't look. What? Why are you? That's why you and your dad ain't close because he's thinking this is must be a jacket. Dad, your jacket. He, 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 you are his dad. You're his son, but me and my dad. Are, deep me, down, you're not you close. Said me and my dad ain't close. Me you and my dad. Me and my dad. You, your, the, your dad you believes could. deep down that he's got a jacket, but he's saying no, fuck it. Me and my dad we look like each other. Right. Me might have thought when I was a youth with blonde hair. Yeah, that. And then he might have thought I wanted brass, but right now. Yeah, yeah, you two big man. You, yeah, that you can see said we're father. And okay, son. okay. You get what I'm saying? And we're very got, close. We're very close. My dad never left me an inch from the day I was born. Because it, don't lie. When you realize that, no, I know. Listen, when you realize that it's yours, it's yours, his. Throughout my whole childhood, there's no, never it, been a day I ain't seen my dad. Like we're different. We got different stories. That I is was so. That I was so raised, fucked up. I was raised. I was raised in that the house. So I was raised in the house with a mum and dad. We have different stories, bro. Sorry, I, the phone's not ev- timed out. Not everybody's raised just, like just that. Just give me the code. Uh, what, me, you're fucking idiot. Give me the thing. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> they can still see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, cool. Anyway, we worked it out. Hi, uh, hi, uncles. You know what? I'm, any any this uncle shit, we're going to stop reading oh, them. No. It's a bit rude. Right. I was in the car with two young bucks at the end. Said, "Yeah, uncle, we just what, drop yeah. you." I said, "I'm thinking these guys." What did like, someone call me the other day? What did someone ever call me? Yes, father. <laughs> I said, "Father, he's about my age." I said, "You fucking rude, father. You're my, bro. You might even be older than me. What are we I doing know. here?" Hi, uncles. I am a thirty-year-old man. Thirty-six, thirty. I know. Uncle. I know. Rude, <laughs> uncle. You know. It, rude. Sorry. Hi, uncles. I'm a thirty-year-old man. My partner and I had not have not had sex yet. Oh, as every time we try, she tenses up and remembers how she lost her virginity. What? To a spectrum. Hold on. This is... Hold on. My partner and I have not had sex yet. As every time we try, she tenses up and remembers how she lost her virginity to a spectrum and was in pain for a few days after. What's a spectrum? How you ask a man from the roads like that? <laughs> That's rude. You lost, you lost your virginity to a, spe- to a spectrum. What does that mean? Someone in the comments will probably tell us. What does that mean? Please, to, someone. To, yeah. uh, to I'm Google it. Uh, you have to Google it afterwards because I'm on my phone. Um, she was too embarrassed to tell the nurse she was a virgin when they are giving her a smear test. Oh, she lost her virginity to a is for the smear testing. Yeah. Is that a spectrum? Must be. That's the first thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spectrum. Okay, yeah. Get, okay, so see okay. you little dumbass. See, I told you it was a, something to do with procedures like that. You're so dumb. So you act like you're the no. A, a spectrum is when we, they put. I it thought in it was it. something like no, because you, you're on the spectrum. Like you're because you're on the spectrum. I thought what she she lost her virginity to a dizzle, <laughs> and that's why she's embarrassed. No, because that's what I thought. A spectrum because you like no, you you're a representative so that, of the spectrum. That sounds so. You, you're are dumb. you on the spectrum? You're a spectrum. Are you on the spectrum? You're a disease. <laughs> Your bacteria. So, okay, cool. So you're so, so dumb. Man, I don't even know what spectrum is. And you're trying to No, you're dumb. <laughs> Hi, uncle. And what's the spectrum? A spectrum is when a woman's like, go through the procedure and they push it in their pum pum. What were they pushing there? The spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, so she's a 30-year-old and don't have sex yet because every time she turns up and remembers how she lost her virginity to a spectrum and was in pain for a few days after. I didn't know what spectrum She was man, too man, embarrassed to tell the nurse that, that she was a virgin Cut when they were giving out. her a smear test. So should she be having a smear test if she's not sexually active? I don't... You're asking me like I'm a gynecologist. Do no, but surely a smear test comes after sexual activity. Are you a woman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. I thought a smear test was for sexually active women. I didn't think they happened after that. But You're not a gynecologist, big man. You're so just about know how to eat pom pom. Why you would want to know... <laughs> 
All right, cool. Can we can can we can we take this serious? I'm asking because what it seems like is that this girl was a virgin. She was too embarrassed to say, "I'm a virgin. I don't need this thing," and he should be in a gear this a gear the thing and bust her virginity because you know the the, the what's they called Heim new what's it Heim what's it called Heim- the Heimlich. <laughs> that's the that's the maneuver when you're choking, isn't it? What's it called? <laughs> the Heim the Heim something. All right, cool. So that's what it looks like. This is what uh, Heim is. something, bro. <laughs> the man said on the Heim side. She didn't want to say she's a virgin, so she's embarrassed. So they should be shot him in and brought the Heim Heim Nick, and boom. All right, cool. So I want to do something special to make her relax and see the actual sex. Yo, people, listen, make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash elephant in the room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode. All right, because you can see we've just cut the episode short in it. So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You're also going to get some exclusive content over there. You're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing. You're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and they're going to have the opportunities. All right, so jump over to Patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room, all right? So join us over on Patreon and peace.